so let's talk about what actually causes an autoimmune condition. Let me just briefly tell you what an autoimmune condition is. It's a situation where your body has created immune cells that are attacking itself, and that creates inflammation, and the inflammation creates a lot of collateral damage, and it's all those free radicals that end up destroying the tissue. And the immune cells that are attacking itself are called autoantibodies. And you can have these autoantibodies to pretty much any tissue in your body. You can have them to receptors of cells. You can have these immune cells attack pretty much any tissue of the body. And so what an autoimmune condition boils down to is this one cell called the Th17 cell becoming overactive, okay? Excessive amounts of the T, it's called helper cell 17, are responsible for autoimmune conditions. So now let me just kind of explain what this cell is. In your immune system, you have a lot of different players and you have different types of T cells. And the T stands for thymus because that's where it gets its training and that's where it matures and develops. And typically the T helper cells have to do with command control. They're like the quarterback or the general that recruits help for infection, that generates the weaponry like cytokines in the inflammatory process. So it's the main controller of the battle with infections. So it's a real key element. When someone's infected with the HIV virus, what that virus does is it targets the T helper cells and it knocks those guys out. So you have no more immune system at all. Well, in an autoimmune condition, you have an overactivation of these cells right here, Th17 cells. One of the functions of these cells is to maintain in the intestinal barrier, okay? The barrier between microbes, pathogens, and the inside of the body. And I'm talking about the lymph nodes, the capillaries, the vascular system. So it's really uh, the maintaining of that barrier and also to help maintain the microbiome homeostasis. So to keep those microbes from invading the inside of the body because if there's a break in the wall and these bacteria get across and invade the inside of your body and then you're gonna get an immune attack and your body's gonna start creating antibodies against those cells. If some of those cells are pathogens, that's a good thing. But what if those cells are your own cells? That would be a bad thing. So a part of the T cells are involved in central tolerance, which means tolerating itself. In other words, it's differentiating itself from a pathogen. It's making sure that we don't end up destroying our own tissue. This cell helps prevent autoimmune conditions. Now it also works with the T regulatory cells, which has an even greater function of preventing autoimmune diseases. And it also has a suppressive function of suppressing autoimmune diseases and suppressing hyperinflammatory condition. So anything that's too much inflammation, it tends to calm that system down. So if there's an infection involved and you go through this whole infection, the T regulatory cells, they're also called T suppressor cells, go in there and put the fire out and calm down the infection. So when this cell doesn't work like it should, now you're gonna get a movement of bacteria across that intestinal barrier. And you're gonna get chronic infection and you're gonna get a lot of inflammation. And that's really what's behind an autoimmune disease. But now the question is how do these cells become overactivated? Well, they don't know that, but they do know there's several things involved. We know there's uh, usually a microbe involved some infection by some virus or some other microbe. There's also associations with stress. So that could activate cortisol, which also weakens this barrier right here. And then we also have malnutrition, that factor. And I'm talking about vitamin D. Now what's so interesting about vitamin D is that vitamin D helps this cell directly. It can help to bring down this overreaction of this cell. And this is why vitamin D, even in the 40s, was used for rheumatoid arthritis. And I'm talking like 
200,000 to 400,000 international units of vitamin D to put that condition in remission. So vitamin D helps to regulate the T helper cells, specifically this one that's involved in autoimmune disease. If you have an autoimmune condition, uh, you should be taking vitamin D. And you definitely need to focus in and do research on that area. And I have some real interesting links down below. So check them out. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.